I don't want to just inspire people. I want to also equip them with what we know from the best of the research from decades on how, how do we develop leaders and give them something that's systematic. So a lot of leader development looks like this. Unfortunately, I, I think this is why it doesn't touch down to culture. This culture is about the invisible, deeply held assumptions. A lot of leader development, unfortunately, ends up being, let's give you a personality test, a one-day uh, airport seminar, a best-selling book, a motivational speaker. We're going to help you understand your color, your number, your spirit animal. <laughs> We're going to put you in a box, call you a leader, and go from there. Yep. And yeah, then we get surprised <laughs> when it doesn't make a difference or change culture, right? Like, well, I did this. But the problem is we just do these moments in time and they don't have any follow-up. So what Rob did was he built a, a systematic approach to developing leaders that connects the development of a person with the actual rhythm of a, of, a, of a business that over time changes the culture. So he built 10 assessments that are designed to be completed in a year-long fashion and gone through again and again and again, which is completely different. So it's less of an assessment, like let me give you a test and tell you if you're a good leader or what your personality is. Mm -hmm. It's more of the assessment that asks you the deep questions that you know matter, but you go, I don't know if I have the answer right away. Yeah. Let me do some excavating and let me do this with others. And by doing so, we'll develop psychological safety, we'll develop trust, we'll, we'll build culture and create a place where people hopefully become stretched and supported at, at exactly the same time. And I think that's what's missing from organizations today. So I joined Rob because I've done leader development in a, a range of places, but I've never seen anything like he built that actually gets systematic, gets rhythmic, and makes development a business, uh, a business process yeah. and not just a fun thing we do if we happen to have leftover money in the slush yeah. fund. Exactly. So. Yeah. And it, change should never be an event. It has to be a process because change is happening all the time, right?